Today I'm going to show you the bottle trick for releasing the pelvic floor. This was first taught to me by physiotherapist Christina Christie, ooh, back in 2009 I think, and I've used it uh, successfully with patients ever since. Now the pelvic floor has a muscle in it called the obturator internus. The obturator internus attaches from the ischial, ischial tuberosity, which is one of the bones that we sit on, one of these kind of sit bones we could call them, and it goes to the hip. And so we can have a problem in the pelvic floor that actually affects the hip, or we can have a problem in the hip that actually affects the pelvic floor. That's, where it's, that's why it's very important to free off this muscle. Now the pelvic floor is, um, sits between the pubic bone at the front, the coccyx at the back, and the two ischial bones either side. And the ischial bones are angled at about 45 degrees towards the front. And so we're going to take the bottle, and it doesn't really matter which way around you put it, some people will find it more comfortable with the um, top at the front, some people the other way around. And we're going to put this at roughly 45 degrees angle so that the ischial bone sits here and the bottle then slides up onto the inside ever so slightly. So it's not going anywhere where it shouldn't go. It's just pressing, putting pressure onto the pelvic floor. So in this position, I have the bottle. You can kind of see the top just here. So the, bottle, the top bit is underneath my pubic um, bones at the front. Mm. The body of the bottle is pushing up on my pelvic floor right next to my ischial tuberosity. And I can just move forwards and backwards in the sagittal plane. And I can move left and right in the frontal plane. And then I can just do a little bit of rotation in the transverse plane both ways. And then what I'm doing here is I'm putting pressure into that pelvic floor, into that obturator internus, and de-stimulating it. Now, why is pressure important? Pressure is important because it's an anti-stim to most of the pain receptors, uh, the C-fibers. So for example, if we hit ourselves with a hammer, we may push on our hand really hard like this. Why do we do that? Because that pressure actually de-stimulates the pain that's coming up through those C-fibers. And so pressure here in the pelvic floor actually can send to the brain uh, a different uh, information, so an anti-stimulus, and that can actually reset the brain's um, uh, signals going down to the muscle, which then can reset the tone and help relax the pelvic floor. So you go forwards and backwards a few times, left and right a few times, rotate a few times, and then repeat on the other side. So that is Oh, I like that. It just feels fantastic. Also, you'll notice that your hips loosen up quite a lot afterwards. If you have tight hip internal rotation, this can really help with that internal rotation. And it feels great just to have pressure onto the pelvic floor and to release it off, especially if you have a tight pelvic floor. So go on, give that one a go.